Ancient's under attack! We need to help! Some felons broke in and started killing everyone. I barely made it. Hurry, we have to help the guards fight off the attackers or we'll all be cut down one by one! Their life hey. ends here! This will hurt. Just in time. A bit longer and I'd have been... Whew, I don't even want to think about it. Can you imagine what a terrible loss this would have been? But it's all right now. I'm safe, sound and unscathed. Ready to lead you to victory. Lady Jamandi's holding the line in the banquet hall. You know, the one where she had us gathered before. We need to make our way to her. And along the way, we'll try to save some of these dummies who are supposed to accompany us to the stolen lands. Speaking of dummies, take this ring. Quiet now so that little fool doesn't hear us. She might try to steal it herself. It's magical. It'll protect you. You'll need it while you work to defend me. Weapons, spells, me. adventures calls them. The art of killing is so diverse I these days. Better. A shame one life is not enough to master them all. <sighs> this will be quick.
I do what I must. I'm off. wishes. Strike you down. Blood for Gorum! Barbarians. I think that's exactly how heroes should be. What, stupid, sweaty, and always looking for something to gobble up or lop the head off of? Calistria, save me from such heroes. In due time. I wrote it like I saw it. They dare yeah! to attack me? Time to get my ass <laughs> dirty again. <laughs> Go. This spell works differently. Should have run. Leave this one to me. You deserved it. What have we here? This chest is full of gold. I guess it's for the guard's salaries, all things considered. Well, those freeloaders don't seem to have been working too hard for it. Maybe we should pocket it instead. What? No, we're heroes, not thieves. Who said we were stealing it? We'll just take the gold for safety so the assassins don't get it. And then we can heroically return it to Jamandi when this is all over. Finally, a voice of reason. Eh, do what you want. I don't care. It was just a suggestion. But there's a lot of money in that chest, and with all these bandits running around, it wouldn't be any better if they stole it. Follow 
if you dare. Oh, familiar faces. I hope you're not so frightened as to swing at every shadow. It's me, Jathol. I don't recommend advancing down the hallway, assuming you value your life, of course. There were a few people with me, and you can see what happened to them. And just how did they all end up dead while you don't seem to have a scratch? I'll answer but briefly and just once. Further scares and explanations will wait until we aren't being hunted by a group of assassins. Deal? All right. I'm undead. These traps are deadly to the living, but they're harmless to me. What do you mean, undead? Really? Like zombies or skeletons or...? As I said, further explanations will wait until later. All you need to know right now is that we're on the same side, and we have to fight off a small army of hired assassins. Let's get to it. I'm there. How curious. You have my attention. Anything is possible. Applause, please. Request. I will grant your Just request. Just letting the ink dry. What a surprise. And Lindsay was called forth. Applause, please. What troubles you? How curious. <gasps> and so they walked on. I do what I must. Just die already! Unworthy. Strike! <laughs> this is where I step in.
despicable. Serves you right. Don't hold back. Advance! Time to get my hat straight again! You deserved it! This will hurt! Everything is so much fun with a little fire. What a night, huh? I thought I was all alone. It's good you're here. A bit boring, chasing fool assassins without anyone watching the show. It's not fun at all. Many people have died for nothing. Of course. I'm from Kadira. But tales of hot deserts and shady oases can wait until the fighting's finished. But if you'd like to share a dinner and pleasant conversation, just say the word. I like making new friends. I don't know where you're heading, but I'll be at the entrance to the main hall. I think I saw some guards there. Join me there, if you wish. Follow if you dare. Grotus, I can sense your silhouette hovering over me. It won't be much longer. Soon we shall meet, O oh Lord of Oblivion. You're wrong. Who would know better than I the severity of my own wounds? I can feel the last drops of vital force leaving me. I can't hear you. I'm being taken away into the darkness. Up, you faker! Just look at him! Dying, he says. What a buffoon! Come on, get up now, or I'll tap dance on your corpse! Yeah. It, uh... It seems I will live. I suppose I must postpone meeting my god. Not for long, I'm sure. But while we remain in this transient world, Aaron is at your service. I do what I must. Interesting. You, run and get an axe. You, bring more water. You, stay here and hold our defense. Those assassins are still around here somewhere. Aha! Some of our guests survived. Good. You need to get to the banquet hall and help Lady Jamandi. No, we'll manage. I've got my best people here, those who still live. Your place is by Lady Aldori's side. It doesn't seem right. What if some of the guards are wounded? We need to help them. Someone opened the gate, let in a group of assassins in the middle of the night. Now they've set the mansion on fire to cut off access to the hall. They don't want Lady Jamande to get reinforcements. We cleared the passage so you can get through. Just try to avoid inhaling the smoke. We'll be right behind you. We just need to put out the fire first to save the mansion. 
Considering Lady Jamandi's fate, I'm not surprised that a whole pack of assassins were unleashed on her, including a giant. But what's at stake? What could anyone hope to gain? You'll have to run through the fire. We've almost put it out at the entrance, so your main concern should be to not inhale any smoke. Hold your breath and take the first right, then head straight down the hallway. Fire doesn't frighten me, thanks to Hell's blood running in my veins. I'll go ahead and wait for you on the other side. Catch up! May Abadar keep you safe. In due time. Give the order. Unworthy. You deserved it. Strike. Don't hold back. Leave this one to me. Just die already.
wretched things. Any last wishes? This will hurt. Time to get my hands dirty again! Behind me, despicable. <laughs> this is where I step in. Out of my way. <laughs> Your life ebbs low. Advance! Serves you right! Leave this one to me! What a waste! Thank you for your valor and bravery. The enemy was strong, but you were stronger. And that means I made the right choice. Just as I thought there were worthy leaders among you. I'm especially grateful to them for the courage and common sense they showed while defending the mansion. But this attack means we have even less time than I thought. Someone already knows of our plans and is acting against us. You'll begin your expedition immediately. Lady Aldori, please, I know who arranged this attack. The vile king of Pitax, Iroveti. What's more, I know who among us works for him. Hey, you! Show everyone the ring you're wearing. You think I wouldn't recognize Iroveti's seal? That's why she wasn't killed. The bandits recognized her as one of their own by this signet ring. Probably, yes. But this evidence is circumstantial at best. There's definitely a spy among us. But who? All I have is one word against another. I'm afraid you're both under suspicion. They both came to your aid, Lady Germandi. But a liar's cunning knows no bounds. I've never met these two or their companions. For all I know, they're all conspiring spies. How could you say that? We fought together. We literally went through fire together. And then you vanished into thin air. After you promised you'd wait. My words might be rash. I bet my life the spies anyone but this woman. I saw how she dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. A true warrior. I'd go with her through hell and high water. This purple crook, on the other hand. <laughs> He's got the... Lady Aldori, don't listen to this thick-headed barbarian. She doesn't know what she's talking about. During the attack, our leader showed her true colors. She forced us to break into the armory and rob it. And not just that. Upon finding the guard's salaries in the armory, she immediately pocketed it all. Considering the circumstances, that was more than reasonable. 
That was a sound decision. Sometimes one must act at one's own risk and peril until crossing the boundaries of what is allowed. Showing initiative is no crime. Well, of course, theft is not to be condoned. However, when the fire burns around you and you are but one step away from death, is it not insane to worry about laws and rules? What about that trick she pulled right before we came in here? She knew very well you were fighting the enemy, but instead of rushing to help you, she dallied as long as she could, dropping everything to save people from the fire, even though the guards were handling things just fine. She was obviously hoping to show up too late and find you already dead. Really, Cartuccio? You're seriously trying to blame someone for saving people from a fire? May Shellen spare me from ever having to make such a choice, but... She behaved decently, as a true leader. A true leader is someone who has their priorities straight, not someone who would put a valuable ally's life in danger for the sake of some servant. Enough squabbling. I'm still not sure which of you I can trust. However, the risk of entrusting the whole affair to a spy is too great. Here's what we'll do. Two teams will head out. That way, I'll know at least one group can be counted on to serve my interests in the Stolen Lands. Lady Aldori, most of those who were to set off for the Stolen Lands have been killed. Those who yet live will require help. Please allow me to join the expedition. I'm sad to lose such a talented warrior. But you're right, Valerie. They have greater need of you right now. Go, and may Abadar keep you. Which of the two teams would you prefer to accompany? If my leader allows, I would join her team. She seems a worthy commander in my eyes. Commanders, military leaders, all these laws and rules are but dust and vanity. I suppose I will accompany Tortuccio. Our leader is good in battle, but I don't like all the spiritual agonizing. I prefer those who can act without wasting time helping every little pipsqueak. Those like Tartuccio. Ugh, Tartuccio's going to take the credit for himself and be done with it. Shellen, spare me from such allies. I'm going with you. You're a hero worthy of my quill. As for me, I know neither of these two. At least not well enough. And I have no wish to become an unwitting pawn to an unworthy leader. If Lady Jamandi allows, I'll remain in Restoff and help mend the wounds this attack has inflicted. But who knows? The road may bring me to the Stolen Lands, but not yet. I don't even need to think. I'm coming with this woman. As for you, Purple Toad, just wait until we meet along the way. I'll be sure to hang your bright spy guts from the trees. All right, we have two teams. To avoid unnecessary conflict on the road, you'll each take a different route to the Stolen Lands. Tartuccio's team will go through Navactas Crossing. The Garrison Commandant will provide him all the help he needs. You will take your team to Oleg Leviton's trading post. He's been complaining about the Stag Lord's bandits for a while now. There, you'll be provided with all the necessary travel supplies. I'd like to believe you, but I know all too well how convincing traitors and spies can be. If you're truly innocent, I hope you can forgive me this precaution. While you're away, Keston will investigate the night's events and learn who in Restov is working for Patox. But you should know that it isn't just Patox we need to worry about. The Royal House of Sertova may also interfere in our plans. I've managed to keep this affair a secret from them so far, but that can't last long. By my estimations, you have no more than three months. After that, any feats you accomplish will be pointless. And now, farewell. This battle was but the first ordeal along your path, and you overcame it as true champions of Restolf. May the obstacles that follow also fall to your feet. Fear nothing, my friends, and return victorious.
surviving a terrible night, our small team set off to brave our fate. Beware, Stolen Lands. Heroes are on the way.
I am yours to command. I do what I must. Follow if you dare. Test of my abilities. Should have run. Tear them apart. I'm there. It's time to act.
last wishes. I must be doing it wrong. Thank you. What you want? And Lindsay was called forth. My skills are absolute. We should move. Me. 
please hear me. Can you hear me? Please. Aid. Salvation. We have a common enemy, and long have I searched for someone who can defeat him. The one you call the Stag Lord. As a storm strikes ruthlessly with gusts and lightning, the Stag Lord wreaks havoc with the swords of his servants. And not just in the world of people. The land also suffers from the evil he brings. My forests and my flowers suffocate in this fog. Soon even I will vanish as the last ray of light fades at dusk. Yes, it hides his fortress as well as his dark deeds. But while responsible, he did not create this affliction. It is the work of a powerful druid who has betrayed even himself. I know not why the powers did not leave this renegade. But even I was unable to defeat him. This fog, it enshrouds, entangles, suffocates. If only I could learn how it was created. But my powers wane. I have barely the strength to call out to you. All I know for certain is that somewhere in this forest lies an old house. And it echoes with the remnants of a strange power. The Stag Lord and his Druid were there. The fog hides this place from me, but I can point you to the bandits' camp near the Thornford. Make them tell you where this place is. Go there and listen to the echo. Catch the whispers. Search for anything that can tell you how the fog was created. Once the fog clears, nature will breathe again and you will be able to easily find your way to the fortress of our mutual enemy. Who am I? Just a tear shed by the land itself. The bitter sigh of nature. I am a nymph, the guardian of this area. A defeated guardian. Call me the guardian of the bloom, if you wish. I don't believe in fate, stranger, but our meeting seems more than a coincidence. I'm off.
I do what I must. I'm there. In due time. I'm there.
I do what I must.
Let me guess, you're still dawdling. <laughs> Should I make some tea in the meantime? Bake a pie, perhaps? Plant a small garden and harvest some cherries? Perhaps you'd be more comfortable wearing fool's caps and collared trousers. Then at least I'd be able to sell tickets. Come one, come all! Feast your eyes upon the slowest and the most ridiculous buffoons in Galorian! Why hurry? The same end awaits us all. Hold your tongue, gnome. I can hardly tell your twaddle from the buzzing of a fly. Quickly now. If we don't find that artifact soon, someone else might seize it. Someone who's standing over there watching you right now, you fools! <laughs> there is as much vanity in your words as in the words of all who have not seen the wisdom of Grotus. Yet you seem a worthier leader than the arrogant Tortuccio. Perhaps in serving you, I shall open your eyes to the teachings of my faith. I see my magnificent rival will stop at nothing, even at stealing the servants of her enemy. Let us see if your fools are even more useless than mine. Draw your swords and cover my retreat. Hey! It ends here. <laughs> will hurt. Stay behind me! Any last wishes? Last? You should have run!
Follow if you dare. What's that? You see that? I do what I must. Adventures call to them. was not in vain. Just letting the ink dry. Anything else? you right don't hold back let us strike as one become as dust you deserve it This is where I step in. Stay behind me. I'm there. Is possible. Es Axel. Yes, yes. Es Axel. Yes, yes.
In due time. We've downed better ones. Serves you right. This will hurt. Let us strike as one! Your life ebbs low. Bring it! You deserved it. This won't kill you. You should have run. Do not falter! What a waste! Tear them apart! Done with waiting. I need a challenge. Ah, a test of my abilities. Any last wishes? Become as dust. This is where I step in. Here I am. See. Follow if you dare. Oh, if I have to. 
Let us strike as one. one for Repent. This will hurt. Any last wishes? Do not falter! Your life ebbs low. Uh. Bring it! Uh. You should have run! This is where I step in. Onwards! What a waste! Tear them apart! Strike! <laughs> Serves you right! Stay behind me! In due time. An ambush, eh? I'm there. I'm listening. I am never wrong. I'm off. Inspiration. Aboran Sentence. Let us strike at once. You deserved it. Don't hold back. Do not falter! This will hurt. You should have run. Bring it! <laughs> Stay behind me! Last wishes. Don't hold back. Tear them apart! I do what I must.
there. by your inexhaustible energy. It seems strange you can be so joyful after everything that happened. And you're always sullen and pouting, Harem. Smile a little. If we do die at some point, I'd prefer to be buried with a smile on my face, not with a glum frown. <laughs> In due time. Follow if you dare. And Lindsay was called forth. We will prevail!
This is where I step in. Let us strike as one. This will hurt. They go down! What you want? Let's go. Just letting the ink dry. Oh, sorry. This will hurt. Any last wishes? <clears throat> Stay behind me! of run. Dust. 
Do not falter! Strike is one! Tear them apart! You should have run! I'm lost. <laughs> All right. Follow if you dare. I do what I must. In due time.
ammo. I'm there. 